Hey everybody, welcome to my long-anticipated Star Wars Rise of Skywalker movie review. Oh my god, so I was not even going to see this movie. After the debacle that was The Last Jedi, I was out of Star Wars. I was like, I'm not going to see this, I need to tell Disney, show them uh, that I'm not going to pay for their crap. But, um, I actually, I watched all the spoiler stuff that I could. I had the movie completely spoiled to try and not go see it, but everybody was just talking about it and trashing it. I had to go see it for myself. So I went and saw it Saturday as a standalone film. I was entertained. Kind of like with Solo. But I was not invested in anybody. I didn't care what happened with anything. I was entertained. I was entertained with the spectacle. Um, on that note, as a standalone science fiction action adventure, I guess maybe 65. But as a Star Wars film, I give this movie a 20 out of 100. And if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be rushed. They just tried to stuff way too much. It's clear at this point. I can't stand these people who talk about how great The Last Jedi is. The Last Jedi killed Star Wars. This movie tries to go back and correct that and apologize. There, there, there's a scene, I, I don't care, there's, I'm gonna spoil it because I don't care about this movie. Uh, where, where Ray throws away her, her lightsaber and Luke's ghost catches and says, um, a Jedi's weapon deserves uh, more respect than this, and I was wrong. The, there's so much retconning going on. Right, I knew, I knew deep down when I heard that J.J. Abrams was not doing all three movies, that that was a bad decision. Um... Don't go see this movie. Don't go see anything Star Wars. I love The Mandalorian. I'm going to do a Mandalorian review maybe tomorrow or um, over the weekend. Um, that was done by Star Wars fans and people who respect the property. I do think J.J. Abrams respects the property. And he likes the fans. The problem was Ryan Johnson. J.J. just... I, I don't blame him for this. I do not blame him for this. This is Ryan Johnson's fault. He's trying... Ryan Johnson took the rug out from under him. I think Ryan Johnson was bullied by a Star Wars nerd, and he's got a, a picture of, of what he thinks a Star Wars fan is, and I think he hates Star Wars fans. I think he hates Star Wars. I think he destroyed it deliberately. He trolled everybody. They knew that nobody liked Rose Tico. There's a scene where they give Chewie a medal. Like, they didn't... <sighs> Kathleen Kennedy needs to go. She has no vision for anything. She doesn't have a creative bone in her body. Talk about somebody who's had nothing but privilege her whole life. She married a rich man. I think she was rich herself growing up. She bought her way into Hollywood. Now she's exposed for the fraud that she is. She got an Oscar for essentially being a rich woman. She rode the coattails of, of Spielberg and Lucas her entire career. That woman is poison. If she thinks herself such a great movie producer, she should go make her own franchise, instead of doing what most feminists do, which is instead of creating anything, they go and invade something that men created and destroy it. Go make something else. Go make something new. I'm not going to stop you. I don't care what you do. And if I like it, I'll go see it. Huh? They go into Ghostbusters. They wreck that. They go into Star Wars. They wreck that. Huh? What else do they want to wreck? Like, those are just two things off the top of my head. They, they go make the football players wear pink. Huh? Why? Why do you do this? It, uh, I am looking forward to a new trilogy. Not if Ryan Johnson is doing it. And I don't want anything to do with Skywalkers anymore. I don't want to see... I don't even want to see Sith fighting Jedi. I don't want to see Empire. I don't want to see Rebels. We never understood what the world was. We never understood a lot of things. We never knew how Maz Kanata got the lightsaber. We never knew why was she even in the movie. How did Leia beat Luke? Ugh. What I say this movie was 20. This movie was rushed, stuffed. And I don't even care if we ever get a Star Wars movie ever again. I don't want to see anything involving Kathleen Kennedy or anything with her name on it. Ever. She should retire. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Leave your comments below. Don't go see this, please. 
Um, like and subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.